Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to the Fix This Build That Sunday Night Live show. I'm winded and I'm whew, out of breath. <laughs> it looks like I went live. Uh, it buffered and showed me adjusting the camera. So, what is up? Susan is here. I was just sprinted upstairs to all the kids, put them down. Uh, we're not ready. We're not ready for, for this, but we're here. We are here. Whew. All right, Susan will be in here in a minute. Lots to talk about, lots to talk about. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, we got lots of folks here. Uh, Ryan Matthews was early, my goodness. Phil, Stan Phil, what's up? We got Travis, Katie. How's it going, how's it going, guys? And here comes Susan. Hello. Alan Isaac, Will in the house. <laughs> she's she's coaching me right back. <laughs> Uh, okay, what else do we have here? Uh, just going through the comments here. All right, you guys are talking about all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, radiology techs and all. Whew. Taking a breath. So, today has been a little insane. A lot insane, actually. Um, I don't even know where Susan just went. Here she comes. She's back. Oh my goodness. And here's one of the reasons it's been so insane. I would like crazy. to introduce to you the newest hand. member of the Fix This, Build That team. This is Smokey. Smokey is a sheep -a doodle yes. Old English Shepherd, and... Uh, old English Sheepdog. Oh, I'm sorry. Old English <laughs> Shepherd. He shepherds the sheep. <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah. And um, we j this is his first day with the family. First full day. First full day. So... He has um, been a little bit of a handful. <laughs> He's been really good. He's super cute, though. Yeah. He's very tired right now. He's eight weeks old. He's eight weeks old. His name's Smokey, if I didn't mention him. <gasps> I think I did. And um, you want to say <laughs> hi to everybody? Little... Look. It's the camera. Look. They're right there. Hello. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yes. He is awesome. Um, yeah. He, he smells, smells like, like puppy. new puppy. And he is wonderful. So this has been a, a major reason of why Hello. things are a little hairy in the house today. Oh my gosh. It, your, your mic will be nice and muffled. I know. He's gonna like eat it. Yeah, he will try to eat it. <laughs> so I think we talked about that last week, but yeah, this is, uh, this is the new member to the team. This is our first puppy. So first puppy first as a pet. couple. I get you. Oh, look, he is like nuzzled down. <laughs> he's like, he, he's here, like, it's why don't you go put him to bed? Why don't you go put him to bed? We just wanted to show you guys, little so Mr. Man. Oh, here, you want to say something? Hello, my name is Smokey, and I'm adorable, and I like to eat things. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he would say. Okay. Yes. All right, buddy. Say bye-bye. All right. Let's say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Peace out. <laughs> All right. He needs to go to bed. Yes. Uh, so, <laughs> he is... So adorable. I can barely get any work done. Um, <laughs> and yes, he is, he is fantastic. So we're, we're Snoop, uh, Snoop, we're, <laughs> we're Snoop Dogg. We're super excited as the family. Uh, you know, we've been like, I uh, saw so setting up baby gates, uh, dog gates all day today and uh, uh, ordering others. Oh my gosh, the whole nine yards, the whole nine yards. We both had, had uh, dogs growing up, but um, we have not had one since we've been married. And yeah, so this is the first. And the kids, as you can imagine, are just going absolutely bananas. So. He just laid right down. I'm sure he did. He's exhausted. <laughs> he is exhausted. So that's what's going on in our world. Just the dogs. I mean, Katie says, oh my God. <laughs> I want to snuggle that face. <laughs> yes. So uh, we do, oh we do uh, plan to have, you know, Smokey will be making his presence known on the channel, I hope. Yes. Uh, you know, we'll work him into some videos. But you guys saw him here first. You did. The live channel before <gasps> Instagram, before anybody. Yeah. So there you go. That's what you get for, for coming and hanging out with us on Sunday night. That's right. Uh, <laughs> now, if you hung out with us Sunday during the day, it would have been a lot of puppy stuff. Yes. <laughs> Will said, instead of Smokey, how about ruin that? Yeah. Fix this, build ruin that, that, and ruin that. Yes. <laughs> he chews everything. Uh, yes, so yes. That's what they do. No, so we went out, so that was not where Susan was last week. She was in Ohio, but mm -hmm. we drove out yesterday to Arkansas. It was a breeder that we found through some friends that was really reputable, and, and we felt really yeah. good about 
Oh, uh, them. So we made the whole trek yesterday, 14 hours, six out. Was it 14 hours? I we guess left it was. at 8 a.m. and oh got gosh, back at 10 yeah. p.m. We, so it was just Brad and I. Uh, we left and the kids, left the kids with, with my parents. parents and I could, that would not have worked for them. Yes. Yeah, so well, thank and you, mom just, and dad. Yeah. For so we drove out and back and. Helping us out there. It was good. Yeah. It was like ripping off a band aid. That drive. It was. It was. What's up, Tyrone? You just missed the big reveal, the big puppy yeah, reveal, you'll have Tyrone. To you, have to, you have to rewind it. So uh, <laughs> Pritchard's Projects, how's it going? How's it going? Uh, and yeah, so Ryan, uh, I do plan on making some stuff for the for the pup, yeah. obviously. So uh, we'll probably I'll probably do like one of those you know nice wooden crates right. at some point. But right now we're just like getting the stuff, man. This is like we're in in we're damage control. Yeah, just surviving is a is a great I word mean, so susan's running out to walmart like right like we did not plan very well we were not this. prepared we should have been but we knew this like, was coming like oh, we've yeah. been on the waiting list for like eight months well we knew, yeah but like and i was in ohio with my Here. visiting my family I, with I think the we kids need beer the week, i know we so. do uh, and so anyway like we just we didn't have it all squared away but we're better now and he's adorable week. so we have uh cat is that right? Bastard Cat India Pale Ale. I mean, That's like a cat okay. with, with no Are father. Are you going to do a little thing or it's not on there? I've got nothing. So okay. if you join the Builders Club this week, I apologize. <laughs> We're in survival mode. We will get mode. you next week. I didn't yeah. do beer. Like, I got nothing. Sorry. I've got absolutely nothing. We've got a dog. But thank you to That's Scott it. for uh, the beer. Mm hmm. Oh, that's good. And yeah. I like it. It is good. I like that. Yum. Oh. Yeah, All he right. was so tired. I laid him down in the crate, and he just went. He just peaced he, out. He just did. He was like, "Leave me alone! Don't take me on." <laughs> <laughs> Tundra says, "Puppy turns a full-grown man to mush." Yes, he does. I just like hmm? pick him up. I like he said, a, "A puppy turns a full-grown man into mush." Yes. I pick him up, and he's like, you know, he's got that that new puppy smell. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you're so cute. When I tried, we both. And we separately, we both tried to get take him outside to have to go potty before bed, and it's dark out there now. And he is a little scared of the dark. We realized he does and not so like the just, dark. <laughs> he just wanted to sit on my lap the whole time. He didn't he want like, to do anything. Well, he was, he like, was oh. whimpering when I took him out because it was, was just getting dark. Oh. He was like, I don't like this. Yeah, let's, let's get not out of here. a fan. So, <laughs> and he's going to be about 50 pounds, we think, 40 to 50 yeah. pounds. So he'll yeah. be a pretty big dog. Not huge, but decently yeah. sized. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, the other thing that's been uh, a bit oh, crazy around here, we've been working on the backsplash. So if you've seen some of my Instagram stories, uh, I've been talking about that. I, I do a horrible job of the YouTube stories. I need to do better at that. Oh, yeah. I, I, I kind of forget miss. they even have them. I know. So but um, so I've got all that in, and like I was literally 15 minutes ago dehazing like the one wall. So there's two walls. Oh. There's there's a backsplash <laughs> here and then a backsplash the over there. Right. What, dehazing? I don't know. Like my brain went to like... Fraternities not hazing people like everyone <laughs> <Right>. come in. <laughs> not what that is. De hazing, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I don't know. That's Sobering right. people up and uh, <laughs> right. yeah, not shooting mustard on them. Um, shooting mustard. On I don't know. I feel like that's the movies. Like they squirt mustard and ketchup on the recruits. That'd be gross. Know. Um. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. De hazing. The so real I was in there. Yeah. The yes. tiles. So I did a back some backsplash work. That is the the video that I'm currently working on. Right. And uh, just finished the grouting and that, and then so the last I need to dehaze the other side, and mm -hmm. then remove the haze, I guess. You know. No, I think dehazing I like is probably good. Yeah. And then uh, then it will just be you know kind of clean Beautiful. up doing the the caulking around the outer edges, and it's gonna it's gonna be awesome. It looks really it good. Um, we haven't brought you guys along with us on the whole renovation Ugh. of the kitchen because I haven't been doing it. I've been hitting the easy button that was Thank easy <laughs> uh, and paying people to do it for me uh, because we had the cabinets painted white right and uh, first of all I didn't want to mm. do it because I knew I'd get a ton of flack because they were cherry cabinets they're cherry cabinets <laughs> but 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 We've talked about this on here I've got pictures you'll see it in the before yeah. as well probably maybe um, I hope and you can see it in other videos but they're like they're like the worst tray cabinets ever because yeah. like whenever whoever made them, they made all the doors out of like inch and a half strips. And then they have like the deepest cherry you can think of next to literally an entire piece of sapwood. Yeah. So it's just like looked horrible. There was no matching and stuff. Right. Um, if they were like solid cherry and looked really like I would, I would have we, not done it. Right. Probably but not. But it finally, they I was just like. stripey almost. And it got like, worse I, and worse as the years went yes. on because the, the darker cherry got darker and then the sapwood obviously right. doesn't. And so it was like, oh gosh. 
So anyway, I had that painted, and then we also had countertops installed. Right. You're um, not going to do that yourself. And I wasn't going to do that. Oh. I mean, that's and ne sorry, neither I'm of those. Tired. Yeah, she's she was up last night with I Mr. I slept on the couch so that the puppy would be Mr. Puppy Man. Yeah, he was good. But Smoky. It was just um, early. So, uh, so that, you know, the whole kind of, it's going to be reveal, but it's just going to be like a transformation right. beginning, you know, there's not going to be the rest of it there. So anyway, that'll, that'll be but the, you did the backsplash and the backsplash, the next video. yeah, the backsplash is, um, it just, I don't know. It's, so it's nice. classic subway yes. tile, three yeah. by six white, um, white cabinets in like a gray countertop. So it's very, you know, it's, it's like a very modern look, very, right. I mean, it's very monochromatic. It's a very clean look, but, right. but it's not all white. Although I do like all white. It's not like I, we're not anti all white. We just wanted a little bit of something else in there, but it looks really good. Yeah. I think the backsplash really adds a lot though. It does. Yeah. And you so, did a great job on it. And he did it in the midst of the puppy craziness. So I, I think that's like special commendation right yeah, now. Yeah. Well, you might hear some barking in the video. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, or whimpering. Uh, but oh. so then now after we're done with that, I'm going to be getting back into the shop Yay. and doing some building, doing some cabinets and some shelving units for uh, for my son's room for like Lego displays and a desk and some storage. So that's gonna be fun. Um, I'm looking around at the shop, it's like a disaster. So <laughs> I, I do need to do a lot of cleanup before the shop, but- It's not you know, that bad. It's not horrible, It's not but great, it's, but like- I can't see the top of my table saw, but it's just moving things and putting it away. It's been worse. So that's what we've been doing. What have you guys been doing? Yeah. What have you guys been getting up to? Gosh. What kind of questions do you have? What, what kind of woodworking have questions? Have you gotten an eight-week-old puppy? Do you have? Or how tired are you? Yeah. And Jason Sullivan, thank you. He's been watching that. Mm -hmm. Jim Bigham uh, oh, from Houston. What's up, man? Thanks for, thanks for hey. joining. After tiling an 18 by 20 living room, Katie, what, what, what? she what? said after tiling an 18 by 20 living room, I'll never do it again. 18 um, by, whoa. Well, that, and I was like, my mind immediately went to tiling the walls. I was thinking backsplash. So it's <laughs> like, like, geez, <laughs> okay, probably just the floor, like, but still, yeah. Yeah, because like, room. I'm in the, like, I literally was just like, we both well, were was like, there. Katie, what are you doing? Like, are you making like a, like a Russian bathhouse? Like, what are you, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, yes, the floor. Yeah, I've, I've done um, quite a few tile jobs in my day. You need to have knee pads. Um, you do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, you know, a handful. I've done five right. or six tile jobs. And every time I do it, after I'm done, I'm like, I'm never doing this again. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like you forget. You know, a year goes by, two years go by, and you're like, oh, you know, it, looks it so can't nice. be that bad. Um, but I will say backsplash was not. You know, subway tile backsplash, it wasn't the easiest, but there's only so much that can right. go wrong in 19 inches of space. It so. Do you remember when everyone was doing those tiled? I like I had see this is like I, I didn't even clean up the bench properly. The, uh, I had drywall dust all on my. Uh, it was it was it was a little crazy there. before we got on. Um, do you remember like I don't know five ten years ago when everybody well not everybody but a lot of people were putting in those tile hardwood floors. I mean some of you yes. might have them. They that look was, very that was like nice. Two years ago. That was it. Two years ago. Oh yes, it was. Well, I'm sure people are still doing well, it. Well, I'm just guess, saying. Man, that, that's actually sad. I'm thinking that like. COVID was just barely two years ago. I mean, yeah. well, it was not quite anyway, two years ago. But my point is, yeah. I feel like now that um, luxury vinyl plank. plank flooring is around, I wonder if there's less of Oh, that kind of, I feel like that went in and out. Like the, the, and what she's talking about, if you're not familiar, is the, like the hardwood, the tiles that it looks like a plank of wood. Yeah. Um, it's got like a printed wood. And does anybody have those in their house? I mean, it looks very have nice. Have you installed those? They, it's they do. I just, I, I feel sure. like it, like that was like a trend yeah. that kind of came in and then vinyl plank was like, oh, hold my beard. Exactly. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm going to take this over. Right. Uh, and I don't. In the right, see that hardly well, no, at actually, all no. I was going to say, in the right space, I could see how the tile would be better, but the vinyl plank flooring is also it's waterproof, waterproof, right? So it's warm. It yeah, doesn't it break is. your glasses when you drop. It's non. Well, they're both scratch. For, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it doesn't it's shatter for sound, if probably. you drop something; it won't shatter. So, but yeah. I mean, tile's great. Also. It's beautiful. Yeah, tile is anyway, easy to clean. It's just interesting how things change so quickly because that was like a hot trend, and then it just I don't know what happened to it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, who else we got here? Ryan, brush tools or brush list? My recommendation. Uh, brush list for sure. Uh, everybody's kind of going or has gone that way on their high end. So brush list, uh, it's more efficient. And, and, and the, you know, I don't know the exact, I kind of get it. The, the armature and the brushes, like I don't 100% uh, understand exactly what it is, but it's basically like the brushes are, I, I believe, go around the armature, which is the winding, the <laughs> copper windings that are the motor. And uh, because those are turning and it's touching, there's like friction there. 
And so when you remove those, and I don't even know how you, like, I know nothing of like how a brushless motor works. I barely know how a brush motor works. But anyway, so not right now. it reduces friction, which then gives you more power. Mm. Um, is it and, quieter? and it it is, I don't know if it's quieter, but it's, um, it's more efficient, has more power, mm -hmm. and the batteries last longer because it's more efficient. So there you go. There you go. So I would I absolutely go brushless. And I, if, I, if I said anything wrong, you know. We just got to copy. It doesn't, it doesn't count. <laughs> uh, um, oh, Nathan's working on some custom pallet furniture. Awesome, dude. Pallet furniture is back right. in vogue with those high lumber prices. I Katie, mean, where, you, are we at? You, where are we at on lumber, Katie? Yeah. Because uh, Give us the futures. lumber, I think it was down to like Let's 600. I heard somebody say what? that two by fours were down to six bucks. Now, hang on. Let's get it from a reference. They used to be four me. bucks. Four before. They went up to eight or nine. Ooh. And now I heard they were down to six. Now, dude, I don't know if that's so 699 or 647. Though. If you built something yes. like Yes, and if they two bought ago. like at the peak, because Elizabeth, my sister, she's getting a new deck put on and she's doing, uh, a lot of people are upgrading to Trex. Is that right, Trex? Mm -hmm. Because that's not, like that's- mm -hmm. The prices that's, didn't go yeah, up that much. They, it didn't really affect it. But um, but the stuff that supports it, that's not load bearing or weight bearing or whatever. Uh, they have to use lumber. It is. And I was saying, bearing. it is load bearing? The stuff that is load bearing. Right, like you have to have yep. like lumber, lumber. And so I was saying, That'd oh. That'd be awesome, like a Trek 6x6. Six six. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I said, oh, I was telling her when I saw her last week, I'm like, you know, the lumber price, I felt so smart. I was like, the lumber prices are going to be coming back down. Like, yeah. I know a lot about this. They're, I just pay attention to the lives. Yeah. And were they already so. down? I don't know. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, they already bought all the lumber. So, like, yes. they had already applied. They already agreed to the price, and they bought, I don't know. So yeah. that, w that won't help her. Scott that in the house. What's up, them. Scott? You, you missed... Uh, hey, Scott. We we're drinking something. We, you've not been around for all the beers of yours that we've been drinking, bro. Mustard Cat. That's what it's called. It's good. It's, it's like hoppy, it. man. It's super hoppy. I like it. I like hop. So. She does. She likes it more than I do. I like it. Some like um, it hop. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> Some like it hop. Yes. Uh, Michael, looking for suggestions. He's got a 10-inch Roby sliding miter saw. He'd like to change it. Uh, would it be worth going to a 12 inch fixed? Mm. Um, well, you probably Brad know my answer. <laughs> you know, probably know my answer on that, Michael, if you uh, are familiar with the channel at all. Uh, I've been rocking a 12 inch fixed miter saw for ever, ever since I upgraded from a 10 inch fixed, uh, which was many moons ago. And I just, I haven't found the need because I use my miter, I use my, my, um, I haven't found the need for a sliding miter saw because uh, the, what I basically use the miter saw for is breaking down lumber or making specific or making finished cuts. And so breaking down lumber, fine. Like I, I never use lumber that I need. You know, I never, I'm never using 16 inch wide lumber that I need that. Mm. So I'm, I'm typically using eight inch lumber and it will, it'll do that on the 12 incher. Um, and, and if I don't, then I just rip it with my circular saw. Um, and the 12 inch fixed will give you much better, um, accuracy and less run out than even the best 12 inch miter. It just, it's just physics, uh, because you're adding another moving part and as good as some of those are, you'll still have a little bit of wobble. Um, and so I like the fixed personally, but I know the vast majority of people like the sliding miter saw. So, you know, I get it. I just, and I just don't like the size because of my, Even, okay. the small Let's say you compact. had a big shop, like, <clears throat> like a bigger shop with more yeah, flexibility, you would get one. I'd get one, sure. Okay. I know. I'd but get, if you're... I like to make the excuse and just be like, I know I have, I have a fear of commitment. I have a fear of size commitment. I don't want to buy a big miter saw because I'm like, I don't want to have right. this thing in my shop. But yes, well, if I, mean, I had... It, if it I had, definitely takes space. If I had space, space to kill... I would love, yeah, I would love to have one and have Because you've it. tried if out it was like really, sliding miter saws before. I have. I've had and three different like, ones. Meh. And I threw them all back. <laughs> you peeled them in. Throw them in. Back. Catch and release. <laughs> That's right. Uh, By the way, I must interject. Somebody had a birthday today. Who? Oh. Well, not this guy. Because <laughs> we were too busy to do any actual celebration. But it's yes. Brad's birthday. Today is my birthday. And it was like Cheers the craziest, me. wildest this is, day. Do you know this is the first live? I've been doing lives for over four years now. Yeah. This is the first live that my birthday's been on a Sunday. Sunday night. It's here. It's today. So, there we go. Yeah. Is anybody else's birthday today? I always think it's funny. Like, you know, it's like, it's your birthday. Like, yeah, it's my birthday. And like, 
six well, billion divided by 365, that many know, other people have the on same, average as well. <laughs> if you have the same birthday as someone famous, it's always like, ooh, but I have the same birthday as. Oh, yeah, there's I nobody. I'm, I, I can't, like, mine's like, you know. We could look it up and find. Like Bill Esquire or something. I don't I'm know. looking it up. How funny would it be, would it be if I was like, whose birthday good. is today? And they're like, it might be like Brad Rodriguez. There might be like some young people that I don't even know about that have their birthday today. Uh, James, 1,200 square feet of vinyl plank floor in the next couple of weeks. Awesome, dude. Uh, and you hit the easy button as well. Awesome. All right. Makita track saw. Ooh, dude. I, I hear the Makita track saw is really good. Uh, Tundra. Any pointers? Um, not really. I guess it would just be, you know, my only pointer would be make sure your, your surface is uh, clear of debris so that the, if you're not going to clamp it down, because you don't have to clamp it. I hardly ever clamp mine down. I just put it down because it's got those kind of grippy strips on the bottom. But you need to make sure that there's not uh, a bunch of dust or whatever on the plywood or whatever you're putting it on so that it can get a good contact with, with the surface. That'd be about the only one I could think of. Lumber was 500 last week, but we closed at 650 on Friday. Mr. Rodriguez. Who? Who is it? Someone has a birthday today, other than you, from Friends. Oh, yeah, Matthew Perry. No, no. LeBlanc. Matt LeBlanc. Yeah, Matt LeBlanc. I yeah, don't I think knew I knew that. that. I knew that. Um, Iman, the model, her birthday is today. That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> that's it. That's all we got. Alabama 2x4 is, went from 910 to 611. Dude, that's awesome. That's good to hear, Tyrone, um, because I've not been to the store to buy 2x4s in the last several weeks or even in the last it. month or so. Um, but that's, that's fantastic. And thank you for all the birthday wishes. I appreciate that, everybody. Thank you so much. Still 35. You got it. I'm looking good. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no, yeah. Uh, I was like, I was like how, old, how old am I today, Dad? My dad was over. He was like, <laughs> Mental math. He has no idea. I keep no, like. He's, he's like 43. And I was like, no, 44. He's like, okay. When I was visiting my sister, uh, I have two sisters, and the one is a year older than me. Like, I came home from the hospital on her first birthday. We're just under a year apart. And when we were do, hanging out in Ohio, I was like, how old am I? How old are you? And she was telling me, and I was like, okay. Like, I just, like, I don't know. Like, I'm now officially as old as my wife again. Yes. I'm, he married an older woman. There's a three-month time period three where, I, where I... Uh, <laughs> for every year, for three months, he likes to tell me that she's a cougar. I'm older than I'm him. Like, cougar. You caught Coming up. after me. I know. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes. <good> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for the birthday wishes, guys. Um, yeah, you got so... a puppy for your birthday. Yeah, exactly. I got a puppy for my birthday. <laughs> Here's some poop. <laughs> I know. He did pretty good today. He did. He did. He did. Did he poop in the house today? No. He peed. He peed. He peed in the house one time. But like, you know, that's kind of he, he, he had like, I don't know what he did, but the first night he had like magical poo. Like oh nobody said, like we had eyes on him like the entire time. And all of a sudden they I saw were, him like, all kinds and he was chasing around. Were. And then like I saw him starting to go to the bathroom and I like start to pee. And so I grabbed it. I snatched him up and took him outside. And they'd go back and they're like, he stepped in poo. And I was like, where, where did this come from? I, like. He just like. And we got in. I mean, he must have just like. Last on, night was crazy. On I the run think, delivery. I he sure did not like stop and, you know, no. hunch up. Yeah. I was like, we would have how noticed. did this even happen? I don't know. We're still recovering He's from like last night, I think. Because like we got in at 10 o'clock at night with his dog who's never been in a crate before. And so right. like trying and to like. And the kids had to play and with they had, him. And the kids hadn't met him yet. So yeah. it was the whole thing. But that's all yeah, right. Yeah, we didn't get to bed till about 1, one thirty. He did really well. Yeah. It was just yeah. a lot of. But things yeah. we don't know what we're supposed good to be doing. Good birthday present. So we're just figuring it out as we go. <sighs> yes. So anyway. Um, yeah. Talking back, about what was the? Uh, yeah. What was the? Um, I was thinking about. Oh, we we're thinking about some projects. I'd love to get y'all's input. We're mm -hmm. thinking about like some cool stuff to build. Um, when I say cool stuff, I mean like um, more. You guys have seen like you know I've started to dabble in some of the mechanical builds and like hidden stuff and like so the you know like i think it all started with like the hidden wireless charging desk which was you know i just implanted the wireless charger in there which is obviously not a big deal then it was like the uh the desk with the hidden uh drawer in it and that was really awesome that was fun to work through uh then i did the valet tray with the hidden drawer in it that was fun then the, the impossible dovetail cutting board so like i've had I had a lot of fun doing those and i want to do more like that um, but I also now, what I want to do is like start incorporating more like tech in it. So whether that's 
some electronics in a like an Arduino or like doing some kind of functionality or 3D printing or now uh, I got the Glowforge now which I told you guys about a while back if you didn't hear that uh, I have a Glowforge laser I have the X car so like I've got a whole lots of tools I got a whole like you know house of robots nice. yeah we get we're starting our own Skynet over here I've got like four robots that might kill me in the night but uh, they, the they dog can, will protect us that's true um, but anyway I'd love to hear first of all I just love to hear y'all's opinion on on kind of that mix of those things of like so let's let's call it CNC laser, 3D printing, um, and uh, electronics. Did I miss one? Yeah, no, laser. Yeah, no, that was and, that. and electronics. Right, that's mm -hmm. not a that's not a machine. I was thinking machines. Um, yeah, what, what what do you guys think about those? What do you think about when you see the projects with those? Um, you know, does one of those be like ah, I don't know? I'm not too into 3D printing, but I love CNC and C stuff or C and C and C stuff. That's, That's or, a uh, right, right there. Or the laser or whatever. Like, I just love to hear some thoughts on bringing more tech and more computer because obviously, like, I, I, like I'll look in the comments and I'll get all those comments about, uh, you know, like with the impossible dovetail cutting board, especially. They'll be like, you didn't even make that. Like, the, I mean, the machines made it. It'd be great if you actually made it. <laughs> you know, be a real craftsman. Um, and, you know, like, I'm not worried about it from, like, hurt my feelings or anything, but also I just want to get a feel for the audience and understand, you know, where the people that are more in touch versus, like, the, the keyboard cowboys, what you guys think about it? Did you say keyboard, keyboard cowboys? Keyboard, key, cow keyboard, keyboard cowboys. cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, you suck! I mean, <laughs> That's I think if people <laughs> like they, they write the comment in, and they're like, <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Not just in this context, but in this context too. But I always think about like, I would never make a comment on anything oh, if yeah. anybody's, if I wouldn't say it to that person's face, you know? And like, also I just don't make a lot of comments on people's You're stuff. not like most of the folks. No. But around, like around these parts. <laughs> Larry, uh, the dog is a sheepadoodle. Sheepadoodle. Old English sheep dog. He's adorable. And a poodle. And a poodle. Because we've got a, we have a he's, child he's with got a, a... He's got a merle, a merle coat, coat, black and white. Merle, yeah. yeah. Or black and gray. Yep. That's what we call him, Smokey. He's really cute. Among we other reasons. child with um, a lot of dog allergies. So we And so we had to go hypo. Hypo dog. Yep. Also, yep. we're pretty excited about the lack of shedding. Or the less shedding. Yes. Because the dogs you would have been a drawn TV to would have been A TV that rises from the back shitty. of a cabinet. Ooh, Tyrone, that sounds awesome. Ooh, that would be cool. I, I've thought about that. I've seen that a few times. That would be so much I've seen fun. A director have a garage door open or install. I would feel so fancy. Dude, my, my garage door. Sorry, yeah, we, we had some garage door. If you're watching oh my, my Instagram. <laughs> yeah, that was last week. No, was that last week? Was that the week I don't before? Even know. Daniel loves tech. It's just been crazy. Smart home equals love. Yeah, there's been there's been a lot of um, so <laughs> um, There's been a lot of I've done a lot of smart home stuff. I have done yeah. so I don't necessarily consider that tech in that sense it, because it's yeah. like I'm installing You're not building tech. right. It, I'm not You're using it as a craftsman. And, it and I think people love like most people love like smart home. So it's kind of like woodworking, smart home, CNC, you know, laser 3D printing is kind of how I see it. Big Willie coming hey, in with Big a Willie. with a super chat up in here. Dang, that'll help us buy some dog food. Thank I, you, thank Big you, Willie. Yeah, dog food fun. <laughs> now, what, Big Willie says uh, to the next round of beers. Also mm. landed my biggest commission to date, six eight hundred dollars. Oregon your face community gives me inspiration. Awesome. Will, first of all, congrats, congrats on that, man. That's fantastic. Uh, what what did you land? If if you don't mind saying, for sixty eight hundred bucks, what what kind of piece is it? Bucks. That's a that's a fantastic. Um, yeah, tell us more. All right, that's a fantastic rate for, well, I mean, depends. If you're making a thousand tables, it's probably not that great, but I'm sure you're not. Uh, but I'd love to hear what, what yeah, kind of stuff sure. you're making for 6,800. And that'll definitely go to the beer fund. Yes. Uh, not into, the stuff, into that stuff except CNC. Ryan, thank you. But wouldn't mind it. Uh, we need to put a picture on IG. I don't know. He'll, he'll probably go on a. Um, we need a photo shoot. Yeah, he's 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 squirrely, man. I've been trying to get pictures he's of him. They're so all like cute, the back of his though. head and everything. He likes to snuggle sometimes. Eight cabinets, cool. Oh, awesome. Eight cabinets. What? Uh, That's like, great. What kind of cabinets? I'm just gonna keep asking you, but no, like <laughs> garage cabinets. Everything. I don't. I'm just. I'm, I'm curious. Kitchen like, cabinets. I love to hear. Mudroom. Um. Oh, I like that. Ryan says, "Take me to Home Depot. Anything I can carry, you have to pay for." 
That's she wouldn't mind business. that because she just go takes it out of our checking account. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That'd just be like me going to Home Depot, right? Anything I can carry. Oh, that's dangerous. No, no, yeah. It's but since it's the business, like, well, it depends. Like the stuff for the house, obviously, I don't put on the business card. But right. that's like I never ask for tools for presents. Ever. He used to. I used to. We but, used to have a lot of Home Depot gift cards. Yes. Because no one knew what to because, buy him. Yeah, her family and he's always would always like a get deal me. finder. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but now I, I, I tell people not to buy me tools yeah. or any of that because I want to expense it and get the write-off. Right. And so, uh, you know, because it's, it's for the business for the most part. And, yeah. and so, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny that way when you own your own business and you're buying tools. It's like, it's not as, I don't know, it's not as exciting, like as far as like asking for something. Like I still get excited about, you know, buying a new tool. Um, right. And it's, you know, I have a fully outfit shop. So typically for me, it's more like the, uh, it's like the, the small stuff. Things, yeah. yeah, it's like the novelty. That's a good way to put it. Um, I'm, just, I'm looking or around like here. like a like ingenious, the, like upgrade type Yeah, thing. just like, uh, like a pair of calipers, you know, something. Um, of course it's a pair of calipers. Well, <laughs> really precise measurement tool. Yeah. Like I bought these a long time. I just I just love having a you set do of use those digital a lot, calipers. It seems like. uh, if you don't have a set of digital calipers with fractional measurements on it, what are you even it, doing? I highly I'm encourage you to check that it out. That sounded very shameful, you know. But yes, shame them. I mind. know. I just kind of went for it, but no. <laughs> but you do like like these things are very handy for a garage, dude. That's fantastic, man. Oh, that's I'm, awesome. I'm impressed. I'm impressed that uh, I mean you've obviously tapped into a a good market because yeah. that's a lot of money to invest into a garage. Uh, 6,800 bucks. So sounds like yeah. you found some good customers. Uh, and I hope maybe that you can get some word like... of mouth because that's, that's so good, Will, because you know, what's going to happen is like the neighbors are going to come over and uh -huh. they're going to get jealous and they're going to be like, <laughs> Bobby, where'd you get them cabinets, man? They're going to sound like Chuck too. Yeah, No, it, it, yeah. it'd probably be like, Richard, where did you get those cameras? <laughs> Edmund, <laughs> wherever did you find? Wherever did you get such high cabinets. quality cabinets? And then they're like, we have the country club discussing <laughs> you, and you'll have all kinds of work. And yeah, dude, that's that's, that's awesome. That is no, right, that's doing um, stuff for somebody's garage is great because so many people go and like you know. Well, like and, I'm always seeing my neighbor's garages or whatever and i'm yeah. always like or people I mean, are seeing our garage because it's yeah. the shop that's a little weird though but like it's just different <laughs> but no i feel like i mean there are so many people us included that after living in our house for what seven years at that point and sort of talking about doing something to our kitchen or whatever and not really pulling the trigger with covid we finally that was part of the reason oh, yeah. that we were like we, we were just so so, and we, we work from home anyway but for some whatever reason we decided to finally do it. And like, that's what you hear from people that are in that field. So hopefully you get more and more yeah. gigs and you can charge more and more money. That's yeah. great. Ooh, James is a, a techie dog feeder. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's a great idea, oh, James. Oh, that's a really good, like he could wag his tail and then boop, 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 food comes out. That sounded so wrong. You like wag his tail and food comes out? What's wrong with that? Like he's taking a poo. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I actually love I like that, that idea, a lot. James. We uh, right now we're just I, teaching thinking, on him, like to learn his I was, name. I, no, I'm thinking more <laughs> of the other thing of like I'm thinking having like a dog feeder, a, a thing of dog food on the wall, and then I can be like, all right, well, how much do we need? Or if it's like oh. one cup, bloop, it's just like Automated. drops down a cup, cup and a half. Or half a cup at a time. I feel like if we do this, and it's like treats. So it's on, and you can just treats, push the button. Treats, treats, treats. treats, treats, treats. It's, it'll no. be like bad boy, no treats. Oh, like bad boy, good boy, a treat, and then like that seems a little shady. Such a good boy. Such a good, very good boy. The goodest no, boy. We have um, double, double treats. We have a, we have a cat that visits us. He is not our cat. He lives a street over. He met our dog this morning because he was just coming up on the sidewalk he gave him the side eye. and he like he just kind of looked but it was very amicable just moved on. it was very calm like he's not our cat he's just like kind of a cat that lives the street over and is in the neighborhood but i feel like i don't know it's just i, I we feel can, a little we can torn. give him a little section we'll yeah. be like cat treats well i mean it just drops out a little yeah. pellet yeah, a little pellet. <laughs> All you have to do, if he, oh no, if we could have like that, a dude. little we gotta write thing that, that would scratch him under the chin, oh, yeah. that's what he God, would want. Oh, maybe like an automated belly scratcher. Oh my gosh, he would Smokey never Smokey could leave. come up and like hit it with his nose and then like, <laughs> his nose like. Anyway, I like no, that. like that's a great idea. I, I like, like that. that a lot. Uh, Katie. It sounds like interesting and fun. Can I talk about the write-off for the business more in depth? Um, I can. 
but I. But he's I, not going to. <laughs> we joked about writing off no, the cost of Smokey, but we're yeah, not going to. no. So, so you know, it, it's right. all it's all very personal to you and your situation. But in in uh, the grand scheme of things, um, you know, anything that you use for your business, you can deduct in some form or fashion. Now, some of it does need to um, be split differently. Like if you're going to have personal use as well as business use. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if, if I buy a table saw that's completely for my business um, and I use the term write off to kind of as an umbrella term uh, because, you know, you may be doing some of those as an asset and depreciating them. And but then you have like um, there's like different tax laws where you can do like accelerated huh. deductions and basically write it, write it all off in the first year versus depreciating it for certain type of asset classes. And again, I, I don't want to get into the details because I don't know the specifics, but I do know that that's a thing um, that we've done uh, definitely the past few years because that's a, a tax advantage, which is which is great to use uh, because, you know, why not take the tax dollars now unless, but now here's the thing is that if you think like, oh, I'm just starting my business um, and I don't have a lot of income right now, but as my business grows, I will be getting more income then it makes more sense to depreciate it and take the write-off over multiple years. And so like the depreciation schedule for like computers, I don't know what it is actually on machinery, I, not off the top of my head, but I think like computers is like seven years. And so I think the same thing for like camera equipment. Might be five years, but I'm pretty sure it's seven years. And so if I bought something for $7,000, I would write it off at $1,000 every year. And that's, or I would depreciate it at $1,000 every year. Every year, the cost basis goes down by $1,000. Meaning that at the end of seven years, I have a computer that is technically worth zero dollars on my books because you have a balance sheet for your company, which is like all your assets and what they're worth. Um, and so the computer is worth zero dollars and you've depreciated it because it's an asset that you use in your business. Now, the flip side of that though is let's say it was a table saw that was seven thousand dollars, a really good table saw. <laughs> Uh, and then say 10 years later, you sold it for $3,000. Well, then you'd have to recapture that as income because you're, it's worth zero. You sold it for $3,000. You've just made $3,000. So you'd have to earn that income versus if you never depreciated it for whatever reason um, and you sold a $7,000 asset for $3,000, then you would actually be able to take a write-off for that and say, look, I had a loss of $4,000. So... That's kind of if you sold it after the first year and didn't depreciate it, you could you could do that. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, that's that's kind of how that works. Uh, but yeah, and it's a wonderful way to. I mean, you know, that's kind of business one one, like taking your expenses and using them as a deduction against your income, and that's how you know you can save a lot of money on taxes. So make sure you're tracking all that stuff. Hundred percent. That's that's number one. If you are in a bit, so if you're just, even if you're a sole proprietor. Um, I would highly, highly recommend and suggest that you have a completely separate bank account. Don't mix it and mingle it, even if yeah. you're just a hobbyist. That's like the number one first 100%. thing. percent. If you were just a hobbyist, the second that you start selling things to make money, uh, in my opinion, you should open up another bank account it, at your same bank. It just You can go in there and just open it up, checking account, and have it, have it be, uh, you only run things through there. So get a debit card for that one. Uh, and then anytime you buy things for the business, whether it's materials or tools or whatever, you charge it to that and whatever income comes in, you put it into that account. Mm -hmm. It just makes everything so much easier. Um, and then at the end of the year, when you're doing your taxes and whether you're doing a schedule C, uh, or you're just doing it as a, um, doing it as a business, uh, then you can use that bank account and it's all very clear. Right. So. Sorry, I just right went on the, on the deep end. Um, all right, cool. Let me check on him. Yes. Yep. <clears throat> all right. Let's see here. What do we got? Uh, Scott says, can I talk about THD Prospective? Um, yeah, yeah, certainly. So THD Prospective is, uh, so THD is the Home Depot. The Home Depot, uh, their Prospective is, it's a program that they have that is for um, helping tool companies that are in Home Depot, which is, you know, a lot, a lot of the big guys. It's a program where they um, are helping them get the word out about their new tools. And so you've got, you know, all the people that are like, you know, Rigid, Ryobi, DeWalt, Milwaukee, Makita, um, 
you know, in like uh, Dremel, um, Husky, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that I've, I've done, like so a lot of those names. And uh, what, what happens is that they come out and they look for influencers, Home Depot does, and they'll find people and they'll say, hey, we want you to be part of this program. We'll send you uh, tools every quarter. And what in return, we want you to um, do social coverage for them. Or, and that's different by everybody. So it might be a YouTube video, a blog post, social media, uh, all those together, just one of those. It's, it's different for every person. Uh, and then they do that. And then there's also monetary compensation along with that, again, depending upon how much there is and, and all that stuff. It's, it's very unique as all sponsored deals are. It's uh, unique on the individual and, and what they're doing. So, so that's how that works. And so if you see a lot of people doing that, uh, that's because we have a relationship with Depot who has a relationship with these tool partners. And, um, and typically they'll give us a list. They'll be like, here's six tools, pick three. So we don't just get carte blanche and they just don't shove things down our throat either. I used to do that and then we gave them feedback and they stopped doing that, which is nice. Um, so yeah, that, that's the basics of it. Let's see, Daniel, want to replace a cheap calipers. What brand do I recommend? Oh, the, um, I like these right here, honestly. Uh, I don't know if they still sell these. Uh, it's the Wixie calipers. Um, Wixie, ooh. Somebody, somebody did say we should have two beers, and here we go. It's my birthday. Yeah. We're, we're doing two. Um, I've got the Wixie ones. I don't even know if they sell those anymore, but um, th so the, here's, here's the thing, Daniel, that I, that I have found that I really want out of a pair of calipers, and that precision. is not even precise. I assume that really? they're all precise. Oh. Um, I'm going to show you. Okay, so you've got inches, right? I don't know how this is going to This Let's see here. Uh, okay, oh, that, that looks pretty good. So we've got inches. And, um, you know, so this is like in thousandths of an inch, but what you'll see over here is the fractional piece. So let's see, let's go to 1.25. I'm, I'm trying to do this like through the thing, so forgive me. So if I go to 1.25, that should be an inch and a quarter, and you can see it kind of hitting the fractions along the way. And so right there, boom, ooh, I nailed that. Let's lock that in. So that says um, a quarter, right? So I'm an inch and a quarter. And I like the little fractional piece where it's got a little, where it's just got the little one. Some of them do it like really big. So um, look at that. And like when you're looking on Amazon or wherever, um, a lot of them will, will show the, the readout and how they display that. This is, that's my favorite way to do it. It's just like a little fraction there at the end. Um, a lot, of, I can't even remember how they look, but I remember I was looking and I was like, hmm, I don't like, I don't like how those other ones look. Um, that's how I buy calipers. <laughs> right. A tech doggy door, Richard. I like that one. A robot dog walker, Ryan. That's fantastic. That'd be awesome. Although uh, I feel like right now he's trying to eat Oh, it. yeah, Big Will. Two by four here. Uh, here at Big Orange, 516. Ooh, a two by four is only 516, James. That's fantastic. Wow. Wow. Or 648 can uh, Canadian. He's in Canada. That's right. And I, I don't know, like, y'all's comments sometimes come in late, guys, so I don't know why they do that. But it's crazy, though. T-Hub, what is up, my man? Hey, Who, Taylor. What, I keep, I'm just going to dust that off. This is why he can't handle dust. I know. <laughs> Taylor, who do I like or have I tried for printing merch? Going to run mm. some tees and sweatshirts. Um, I've had, I tell you, quite it's honestly. It's a loaded question. It, it's, it's not a necessary, it is a loaded question, kind of but only in the sense that I've never been 100% happy with anybody I've used. Right. Um, we, we started local because I was really like, I wanted like really high quality. I wanted silk Screen. screening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say silk printing, silk screening. Uh, and if you're unfamiliar with, with the way merch works is that there's basically two types of printing. There's silk screen printing, which is where they actually make a physical screen um, and use like, use, light to they, they kind of put this medium on the they put this like goo on the on the thing on the um print frame whatever you want to call it and then they put the outline it's actually the negative image of whatever they want to print and then they put it under like a uv light and then that like bakes the goo and i'm using really technical terms really gross sounding. so it bakes like the goo and then they wash away and then basically what's left is the is the positive image and then that i'm doing a horrible job explaining this but anyway um and then that 
uh, can then be put down on a shirt and it's like literally a screen uh, that is like very fine screen. That's why they call it um, silk screen. I guess it's silk, silk screen. Uh, and so it's got like very, very small pores. And so when you rake um, ink over it, which is like a, a paste, a paste ink that it goes through those holes, but where, uh, where the image wasn't, that goo is still there. So it only lets the the ink go through those holes. And so anyway, that's like the that's most high quality print. That's more than I ever print. knew about silk screening. Me too. I didn't um, know about the goo part. <laughs> yeah, that's how they make them. It's, it's pretty cool. It makes cool. sense, but yeah. It's pretty cool. And I went to the place to pick up shirts one time because it was local. And it was cool to see like the machine, like like the, like, like yeah. the way they make so, them. Yeah, they put it down and like they can either do it yeah. manually or there are machines where right. they'll do it as well. Well, they have them loaded up. And so um, I had that done locally. And the other, the other way is uh, called DTG direct to garment. And that is basically you literally put a t-shirt in a printer that prints it. Um, and it's, uh, so you can do it in the, so the pros, pros and the cons, and cons for the pros sure. and the cons, silk screening, as you can imagine, because of all the work I just talked about, takes a lot of work. So that's typically for like large runs of shirts. You'll use silk screening because you're going to make a bunch of them. Um, versus the DTG, you can do like one-offs. You can literally right. print one shirt because you just have a file. You say print this. There's like, like zero setup. It's like you see people that have like, we have hoodies, we have camis, we have long sleeve tees, we have short sleeve tees, we have three quarter length sleeve tees, Danny we packs, have kids shirts, we have bandanas, we have like sweatpants. Like that's how they all do that. Doing because it's like they just garment. do it at the right. They do or it like per order. One off, like, right? So anyway, those are the right. two. Silk screening is much higher quality. Um, direct to garment depending upon it, direct to garment varies right. widely it's improved right with the printer i think it the physical improved, printer yeah. it's it's that's the same thing as like saying ah oh, well i make all my projects with the table saw well these people make all their right. shirts with a dtg printer well you might want to know if they're using a harbor freight bench top table saw or a seven horsepower saw stop you know i mean like just from a quality perspective right um so same type thing <clears throat> so those are the kind of questions i would ask taylor um more so than giving you like a, a, a recommendation of who I think would be best because um, I have tried, I've tried Printful, didn't like them. I'm currently with Teespring. They're hit or miss, quite frankly. Um, I've had some great experience with them. And it's, like the it, the consistency people, is, is my issue with say, them. Because we did the screen printing, like we said in the beginning, and it like when they were good, they were great. You know, like the, the we, we also got like, I mean. There were some of the best shirts we've gotten. If you knew gotten, the amount but. of test shirts that we have received over the, <laughs> the time period, it's ridiculous because we'd feel like Brad really always wanted to put out like the best quality t-shirt with like great hand and like the three-way stretch and all that. So we, we were making sure we locked in the great t-shirt. And then when the screen printing worked, it was great. Like it was just, it was beautiful. It didn't have that like crinkly, like it sits yeah. funny and like none of that. It was super soft and they held up really well. However, th sometimes they'd go in crooked or yeah. they'd go on like, and you could tell like somebody may have pulled, like something pulled on the shirt during the process. And so then it kind of got all a, skewed. Using a tri-blend so, shirt is why that happens. Okay. If you it, use that's, a tri-blend, like, this, this yeah. shirt is like cotton right. ring spun. It's super tough. So like it doesn't really stretch a lot. If you're using a tri-blend, which is like, I think, rayon, cotton, and polyester, right. um, Delightful it's got to a, feel. feels yeah. great, but it's got a lot of stretch. So when they put it in the machine, it can stretch, and then the print looks weird. Right. And then the downside of silk screening is you have to manage inventory. So I got away from all that. Right. I'm currently using Teespring. Um, like I said. It's a lot easier for us. Don't because, love them. Because like, we don't have to ship don't them. Don't hate they them. ship them. Yeah. Right. It was just a trade-off. Right. So yeah. that's There's kind not, of like a perfect solution here. I, I, but anyway, uh, Scott, I know Scott's got a shirt uh, recently. Scott, how did the shirt come out? What do you yeah. think about the shirt? Tell us all about your shirt. Uh, and anybody else who has gotten a shirt from Teespring, I would love to hear right. feedback on how the wear has gone as well through the washings. Um, because I have some of mine that have not held up, but I've not gotten any complaints from anybody, but that doesn't mean anything. People just might not be sending me an email. Right. Uh, oh, Katie's asking about seed money on the business account. Um, mm. Katie, uh, that would just be a, um, they call it, um, uh, what is it? Owner, owner's equity. So it's basically you're an owner and you're putting equity into the business. So that's how it would technically account for it. Um, and it's just, that's your investment into the business, owner's equity. Uh, let's see here. 
Uh, silk bedtime jammy set. Apologize for all the yawns, by the way. What? Taylor wants a, an FTBT silk bedtime jammy set. I would never get out of bed. And silk screen on silk. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be delightful. All right, Scott, have a good night, brother. Mm. Yes. Uh, Max Krause hey, from Scott. Germany. What's up, Max? Hey, Max. Uh, why don't you tell him you took like two years of German. Guten Tag. Is that good night? Good Morgan is good morning. <laughs> Guten Tag is it's good night, night sure. I think. I have no idea, Max. So sorry about that. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, only took, I, I was not a great German student. Oh, Travis, Travis used to do silk sprinting himself. Oh. Holding out for the baseball cap, Katie. I know, I know, I know. And that's the other thing, like caps. I just, uh, I, had, I did such a poor job at managing inventory. It's just so hard to, to and, and you can pre-order. So I could have pre-ordered. And if I do baseball caps, that's what I will do. Yeah. I'll do a pre-order and then only buy what I sell plus 10 or 20%, you know, maybe. Um, because I <laughs> I thought we were going to, the guy that I bought them from, talk, there was a dark gray and a light gray version. I and the, so. and, and the, the dark gray was the one that I liked better at the time. We're actually like the light gray now. Um, but anyway... Uh, he convinced me to do the light gray, and so I did like two to one or four to one on the light gray, and then I think I did two to one, and then the um, dark gray sold out like immediately, <laughs> yes. and then the light gray did not. So the dark gray sold twice as many. So I did the exact. It, that was the four to one. So like the dark gray sold faster. I should have gone the other way. So because I doubled the light gray and the dark gray sold twice as much, it was like a four to one mistake. By the way, yes, I had a feeling Guten Tag was not right. That is good what afternoon. Is Although, oh, that's like what time night. is it there right now? Yeah. Don't know. Guten Nacht is good night or Guten Abend. I'm there probably saying it wrong. There we it's go. It's like the more casual way, just in case anyone was really wondering. I see your Taylor is I looking at Teespring. The diversity of options is nice. Um, and their shirt shows up in a super, yes, yes, Yeah, 100%. it is nice that you have so many options. Like, I'm not going to lie, he that said, is Max very appealing. Max says it's 4.45 in the morning there, so it's, defi oh. it's definitely Guten Morgan. Guten Morgan. Yeah, 4.45 yeah. and you're up. I am impressed. You watching the Olympics? Like, what's yeah. going on? Yeah, we haven't know. watched anything yet. Don't plan on it either. Brian is like, kind of like, meh, on the Olympics. Summer I Olympics. love the no, Olympics. I, yeah, both of them. Ooh, I love that? the Look Olympics. What? What's that thing? What? Over by the gas can. Are you being funny right no, now? Looking. Look. <gasps> Well, wasn't it last time that the little thing fell down? Yeah. On the oh, that's an actual live thing. Oh, that's a spider. Oh, my gosh. It's big, too. Ugh. That thing's Let's massive. Let's the Olympics again and pretend oh. like that's not happening. I'm sorry. I'm going to smash this. Like, um, I've seen some brown little cruises around. I'm going to get it. Are you serious? Yeah. Poisonous spiders. Although I have heard like that they hang out in papers, like in people's houses. Please say it's not poisonous. He just killed a spider. Listen. Anyway. No, back to the Olympics. You, I can't PETA, believe we haven't you, watched any, anything. I can't. If any PETA we, folks are going to come after me for spiders, I'm going to just yeah. um, say sorry. I can totally believe it because we drove the entire day Saturday. And then yesterday, or today was like crazy whirlwind of big, man. He was everything. Like, it was big. big. I prefer that it's dead. <laughs> um, we're outside. But yeah. We haven't watched any Olympics. Has anyone watched? I, okay, so when I, gymnastics, I, I, I support the U.S. Olympics. Gymnastics is happening. Watching. Gymnastics is happening on Tuesday. Okay. I will be watching. Oh, yeah. Simone Miles, okay. baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, like, I'll watch, that's I'll like, watch Simone do yeah. a. Like, she's amazing. When they like, she's when, like, when they like do a a freaking double back flip, like double back flip. Off she of, could do that in her sleep. I'm just saying, like off the ground. Yeah. You know, on the floor. <laughs> I saw Allie Raisman, who was in the Olympics like last time, I think. Um, she posted on Instagram today uh, that, I'm sure she didn't come up with this, but it was funny. It was like, at every Olympic event, they should have a normal person, like an average person, oh, yeah. <laughs> competing as well, just for a frame of reference. That would be hysterical, wouldn't no, it? I, yes, I saw I'd be that like out there jogging and track that and was, field. I, I like that, yeah, they were like on Twitter. Because it's like, yeah, when you watch the Olympics, and you especially oh. like... Yeah. Like sprints or something like that. And you see like the dude from like Croatia or whatever. And he's like. He might be amazing. Yeah, exactly. But he's like. So far back. 20 lengths back, you know, from yeah. Usain Bolt. And you're like. Uh, how Croatia, fast. Come right. On. Croatia. Yeah. Whereas. Yeah. If like you, if I was out there, I would still be at the whoa. starting. Oh, sorry. 
I was wow. still at the starting line. I no, I'm just saying, not, not even you or me. About I'm talking this. about just like the best dude in your flag football league. Like, you know, somebody who's like <laughs> the best guy in, athletic well, or like the best guy at your or girl at, yeah. at, or girl at your high school or something. Yeah. Like the fastest dude. Like I would like to see a more typical yeah. person because like, like a typical all these athletic people person. are elite athletes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he Crazy. Smashes every small pile of dust. Uh, Taylor, you know I don't smash small piles of dust. I suck them up with the vacuum. Yes. Uh, oh, Max, he's sitting. He's sitting with his newborn on the couch. Oh, that makes sense. While you're up, uh, congratulations. Yes. You have a newborn baby. That's adorable. We have a newborn puppy. Yes. I, we have a newborn the baby. The baby well. is 100. percent What? Now it's going excited. to rain. Is that a thing? What? What? If what? If you kill a spider, it's going to rain. Oh, please, let's kill lots of spiders. It has been so hot and disgustingly it is disgusting. humid here. It is, we need a good rain. And our kids are going to camp this weekend. I feel so bad for them because they're just going to be like hot yes. there. Ryan, uh, any recommendations to the grow woodworking business as a 12 year old? As a 12 year old, Dang. first of all, I'm sorry, Ryan. Um, kudos on that. I know we, we get quite we a few a, youngsters on here, which Brian, I love it. But you're not him, so I'm, I'm impressed though. Yeah, our yeah. oldest is 12. Yeah, has no interest in no woodworking. No interest in starting a woodworking business. <laughs> That'd be amazing though. We would but love um, it. I, would, I would say uh, so if you've not listened to it at all yet, go check out my podcast called Made for Profit. Um, yeah. It's kind of archives. Uh, we're not actively making new episodes, but there's a lot of great content there because you know business business advice doesn't go out of date. Right. Um, most of it, like all the social media stuff, yes, that is aging. Um, so that a lot of that stuff. Uh, but we also tried to talk about uh, you know how to engage with the community and things like that that are still relevant today. But if it's like we're talking about should I have a business account, a business account, or a personal account? I'll have Always people true. like, I just listened to your episode about that. Like, I just switched up. And I'm like, oh. dude, whatever I said, like, doesn't have any bearing anymore. Like, that was like three years ago. Um, as far as like, you know, the little ins and outs of what's working on, t on uh, Instagram. But like how to interact on the platform and then also how to market your business, how to price your products. Um, we cover all those things. And then we also have a lot of great interviews with people who actually have woodworking businesses. And those would be super valuable. Yes. Um, I would I would definitely go go check those out and you're gonna just have more information than than you could ever you can you know, shake a stick at you never shake Ryan. a stick at than you could ever want uh, to hear yes. because uh, it's it's different for everybody and depends upon what you're making uh, and that's why I really liked about the interviews we talked to people doing all kinds of different mm -hmm. things and all kinds of different uh, backstories and the way they started so there's like a million ways to do it um, obviously as a 12 year old you're gonna have some challenges in the way that you can you know you know, you don't have a business that you're at from eight to five or anything. So it's, you right. know, you're not going to be worried about that. It's going to be a lot of more like word of mouth, I think. Uh, but I'm sure you're probably a whip on social media. So you should have the leg up there uh, and being able to, to get you your message a out. A whip. A whip. Yeah. He's a whippersnapper. Whippersnapper. Young whippersnapper. <laughs> um, yeah. So go, go like check it. that out. Go check yeah. that out, Ryan. And, um, and yeah, uh, feel, feel free to, you know, ask if you have specific questions, feel free to come back and, and ask them. We'd love to, mm -hmm. me and, and the rest of uh, the community here, I'm sure I'd love to help you out. All right, what else we have here? I think we're coming up on 10. So, um, mm -hmm. uh, oh, Daniel just did a woodworking course with his 13 year old. That's fantastic. Man. Wow, that's awesome. Um, it's da -da -da. Oh, he's two months now and now he's sleeping. Oh, I love that. yay, congratulations. Thank you, Max, I appreciate that. What did he say? He said, I love your, love your channel and uh, the main, the live streams in the main channel. Great. Awesome. Um, all right. Well, we're going to get going. Um, yes. We've got we're going to rock and roll. We've got uh, a puppy to wake up with in the morning, kids right. to send off to school. And, uh, Camp, not school. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. And I've got uh, that video to finish up and got a lot going get on edited. Right i got to do my voiceover and all that good stuff. So, yeah. We're gonna get the rocking and rolling. In the house. That'll be fun. If you oh hear whimpers in the background, <laughs> I mean, he's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. yeah, he is. He's awesome. Yeah, he's really uh, good. So thank you guys. Uh, all right. Thank you for the birthday wishes, yes. and uh, thank you for all the kind words about Little Smokey. Uh, he is little Smokey. Little Smokey. This sounds like a little. Isn't that like a little cocktail wiener, like <laughs> a party or something? <laughs> yes. Little Smokey. Uh, yes, you'll you'll be seeing a lot more of him. You'll be seeing a lot more of him, and for sure Instagram. Uh, so if you follow me over there, I'm sure you'll see a lot of him. Yes, he'll so start showing. So have up. a great week. Hope everybody stays cool. Go watch some Olympics. Support yes. USA. 
uh, or or Team Germany, Max. Right, <laughs> whatever country you're yeah. from. If you want to support the U.S., that's awesome as well. So you guys have a great one, and we will talk to you guys next week. Get out there, build something awesome. See you guys. Bye.